example of how you can fix a, um, a error in a application I'm using a front end of a portfolio, stock portfolio application I've built and also has a back end. But as you can see, I have a import issue here. So now what I'm gonna do at tab nine is I'm gonna tell it, um, hey, in my open file here on line 22, I have uh, a import error from uh, dashboard where it's not importing it correctly from dot slash pages slash dashboard. I'm gonna ask it to review the code in the file uh, dashboard.tsx where that is actually being defined and explain why it's causing an error. So know that tab nine is fully human in the loop. So it is going to keep you informed and help you um, along the way at every step of your SDLC. So it's a real way to augment your workflow. So now it's telling me that the error is occurring because I have two conflicting declarations of dashboard in my app.txs file. First, I'm using react.lazy to import it, then I'm trying to import it again directly. Now, these are confusing uh, because they're conflicting with each other. So now it's suggesting a revision to my app.tsx file. So great, um, let's go ahead and apply that. Now this is really cool. Um, and this is our smart apply functionality and what it's gonna do is put the code exactly where it's supposed to be uh, in the file by reading the relevant context. And note, this is where human in the loop becomes super important because you shouldn't blindly trust anything any AI system is doing, and you should require it to check in with your developers. And that's what Tab9 is focused on with our human in the loop agentic AI, um, keeping developers fully in control, fully informed, and fully able to guide the RAG architecture that we've built into our enterprise context engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and review this. Uh, this all looks correct. As I can see, it hasn't replaced or gotten rid of any of my existing functional code, and it specifically is only making changes uh, to the code that needs to be changed, which you can see proposed changes in red. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this change. And now it looks like this is functioning as expected. Now I found that I actually have had written manually myself some duplicate import statements in this code. So I'm going to ask Tabline for help resolving that. So first two identical import statements, uh, duplicate dashboard declaration, misplaced JSX snippet in the middle of the import statements, uh, suspense fallback div loading, route pad suspense, that's not valid in this context. And let's reorganize our imports and declarations. All right, let's do it. And now we have resolved the errors present in my code. And that is a great example of how to use AI and agentic AI that's contextually aware to streamline and augment your existing developers and increase the efficiency of your software development lifecycle by controlling the scope and behavior of your AI.